What? Cupcake jumped on her live to say that she was done with rapping, done with music. She's going to be taking down all of her social media profiles, which she at this point now has done. And she says her music will be removed from all streaming platforms. Wow. Um, we'll see if she actually follows through with all this. She even broke down crying, you guys. Go ahead and watch this clip. Um, that I will no longer be doing music. And um, all of my music will be coming off of every platform. Um, I decided to give up, or I want to say give up, I would say let go of music because, um, I feel as though I'm corrupting the youth, screaming out to my lyrics and it's wrong. And even if it's okay to y'all, it's not okay with me. Um, and then, you know, some people will say change the content then. And even if I change the content, like I said, I know for a fact that with me being my size, no one will support me. Um, so this is the end of Cupcake. And I just want to say thank you and thank you for supporting me. I really appreciate it and that's it. So that was just a couple minutes of the full 19 minute live. So she opened up about a few things. She said she uh, made $700,000 and she blew through it with her problem with gambling. Now this uh, totally makes sense to me. I have calculated that she has made around 700 to $1.2 million uh, doing this music. And she really ha doesn't have anything to show for it. Jumping around from hotel to hotel. Maybe her bank account has something in it, but it doesn't look like she flosses much. She wears very much money on her, uh, her attire or, you know, it doesn't look like she has uh, much worth a uh, big dollars. Right. So I do, you know, speculate where did this money go? So it makes total sense. She's revealing she has this problem, but I can't dismiss that this may just be a clout chase because I mean, she has someone else filming this first off. That's it. You would think if it was a more sentimental and real message, you would be holding the phone like she did earlier today when she went live. She was very unapologetic about everything she was saying and everything she's been doing the past couple days. So, Bay was wrong. Ain't shit wrong me. I'm good. Like, motherfuckers need to learn. Like, I'm good. It's all your fade and y'all come. Okay, you can't rap. I'm one of the greatest rappers alive right now, female wise. I want to say male wise because I don't hear nobody touching me right now. If we really be honest, nobody, nobody, nobody. Oh, okay. Nobody. The Illuminati coming for you. Y'all should watch what y'all say. Y'all say some stupid shit, for real. Oh, okay. Know where I perform. Oh, okay. Pull up to the shows at any moment. Oh, okay. I dare you. Just, you know, a couple hours later, now all of a sudden she's crying on live, talking about she's quitting, and 
Cupcake is no longer? Like what? Where is this coming from? Is this real? I mean, supposedly Cupcake has, you know, mental issues that are reoccurring. I know back in January, she did say she did have a mental breakdown where she was on Twitter and she said she was going to commit suicide that night. But a lot of people ended up calling uh, the a, a wellness check on her that resulted in her being uh, committed to a, a facility for mental health, which she allegedly was in for two days before she came out and then, you know, dropped a song. So I don't know what you know cupcake is going through i know all today she had quite a bit of things to say she uh tweeted about emma roberts someone had emma roberts as their profile picture and she said that she is a flop and let's talk about it so (laughs) she quickly deleted that tweet which i mean a quick evaluation of emma roberts uh net worth and you'll see she's worth 15 million where cupcake is only worth two million so i mean you know i would understand why she would delete that tweet (laughs) once you realize who was in that picture you realize you made a mistake now before she deactivated her social media platforms she did have something to say about a k-pop artist and the k-pop stands that she addressed earlier before that on live uh to tell them to stop sending her like cheerleaders and k-pop groups she was tired of seeing it so she addressed this next k-pop artist and everyone lost their minds so she deactivated her platform and everyone has uh, in that community took it as a rejoice and a celebration since she uh, had something to say um you know they feel like this is karma but it looks like, you know, since she did it herself, you know, they, they're thinking she got terminated, but that's not what happened. She's not suspended or terminated, none of that. She is just doing this all on her own. So she also clarified her comments about Jay Park, where she said that Jay Park needs lessons and uh, needs to be taught how to be black since he's uh acting black. The guy y'all tweeted me, the one who always all beat. Hey, is that the dude that's always all beat? I'm not dragging him. I'm just being like, the dude is all beat as fuck. And that's what I read. Every time I see his picture, I'm like, oh, that's the dude that's all beat. You feel me? Like, a lot of people. Okay, so since y'all want to be, think everything is shady. So why? So when fans walk up to me and some fans be like, that's the girl who made deep. It's what they remember you as. You feel me? Like, I done made a hundred songs since then, but that's what they remember you as. So by me listening to one of his songs, it's all beat. And then I listen to two of his songs and it's all beat. When I see him, I'm like, oh, that's the dude that's all beat. You feel me? I'm not going, oh, that's blue face. Like, I'm, it's not, it's not. So y'all took it as shade. But I was just saying facts. The fact is, is every time he rap, what I heard of, he's all beat. So therefore, there you go. And it's the same for, um... Jay Park, y'all took it as, oh, she's shading Jay Park. But I'm really not. I just was like, in other words, um, let me teach you how to be black because you're not doing it right. Like I see what you're trying to, you what you're trying to demonstrate, but you're not doing it right. You feel me? So let me teach you how to be black. That's all I was saying. It's not shade, it's facts. So she just showed a lot of confidence for someone who is now just a couple hours later allegedly going through this mental, you know, evaluation breakdown type thing. So, you know, I can't excuse that, you know, people have, you know, bipolarism or you know mood swings that you know can cause them to act like this but you know i really think cupcake is trying to grab headlines especially you know she's attacked all these people the past couple days 
there was a video made about her and Lizzo claiming they were poison to society. So she also brought that up in her breakdown video. But, you know, there's no telling what's going to happen if she's really going to stick to this. Her social medias are still down and it's now uh, the next day. So she's sticking to this so far. We'll see if her music really does all come down from the streaming services because that's how we'll know that she really is serious about quitting. But tell me what you guys think down below. Is Cupcake okay? Uh, what do you think? Tell me in the comment down below. And of course, I'll see you guys next time in another one. Here on Mount TV covering the latest in Cupcake updates, headlines, clout chasers, and drama. See you guys in the next one.